mindfully walking around the Nantian Temple, just focusing on the sounds, the smells, um, just the different sort of senses that I'm picking up. It's really beautiful here at the Lily Pond because I'm noticing that the, the plants are making these beautiful movements. Um, and yeah, there is this disturbing sort of background noise of traffic in the distance, but I kind of find it a bit soothing and these amazing smells of incense um, and just sounds of leaves crackling and it's a bit breezy so there's the, the, the breeze flowing through the trees and it's really relaxing. Um, we're trying to do mindful walking, focusing on the actual process of walking and thinking about our breath as we walk. I have a, a bit of a bruise on my leg and I'm actually finding that I'm spending a lot of the time thinking about that dull ache and the sensation of the, the sore legs. I don't know if that takes away from mindful walking or actually complements it. I think one of the biggest things that I've taken away from this mindfulness experience is not only how mindfulness can benefit my students and how I can implement it in the classroom, but really how much I just need it in my own life um, and how sort of full our minds is on a daily basis and sort of not only the mental benefits that mindfulness can bring you but also the physical ones as well particularly how we live in such an age of stress and how toxic stress can be mindfulness is so essential video I'm putting on my makeup I'm thinking about the day I'm never not multitasking I'm always doing multiple things at once and um, I guess one of the important things about mindfulness is just being in that present moment not thinking about the future not dwelling on the past because when you're ruminating on the past you can't change the past there's nothing that you can do about it and um, when you're thinking about the future oftentimes you're thinking in a state of fear and anxiety the only thing that you can really have any influence or any control over is this present moment and this is coming from a person who can be entirely too anxious and stressed out and it's for me it's it's come to the point where that stress and that anxiety can be controlling my life and I know firsthand I guess the downfalls of living in this fearful uh, future thinking driven way of life and for me um, mindfulness has come through doing yoga which I'm very new at as you I'm sure you can see um, but it also comes through um, I guess self-care and and taking those moments for yourself it doesn't need to be always um, meditation or mindful art and drawing that is just one way to practice mindfulness in your life um, but it could really be as simple as just focusing on your breath and when you find your mind beginning to wander to the past or to the present uh, to the future sorry um, away from whatever you're doing in that present moment 
Take one or two deep breaths, recenter your thoughts and get back to that present. Um, I know that we live in such a technology driven society and phones can be a really big source of distraction and mindlessness. And I'm speaking from experience when it comes to that. Um, I find myself mindlessly scrolling, mindlessly viewing. I sometimes find myself watching a show on Netflix, scrolling and liking on Instagram and drinking a cup of tea. And I'm probably not fully participating in, fully experiencing or enjoying any of those three things that I'm doing. If I was just drinking the tea and thinking about the smell and the taste and the feel of the tea, I wonder how much that would change the experience of the tea. Um, so I guess my challenge to you is how can you incorporate just small changes or small experiences of mindfulness in your daily life? And that is the challenge that I'm taking upon myself. I found myself taking those recentering breaths today. I found myself doing yoga today. I found myself enjoying certain experiences today where I would usually have been multitasking. Multitasking is actually proven to be an ineffective way of doing things because you're not giving 100% of your attention to any of the things that you're doing. So think about how you can incorporate those small acts of mindfulness in your daily life and just see how it changes your thoughts, your experiences, your connection to your body and to that present moment. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.